And it is going to be, I guess at this point, the pretty standard dual lane for Navi mid. Dendi, they're looking to snowball him early. And yeah. so far, CS even, but Maybe's regen is quickly being chewed through. Yeah, it's kind of saying during the during the draft from over here, it's like, oh, they're going to do some kind of like IO co-op dual lane mid. The IO gets banned, but the, the replacement general, is the, the bounty. Top lane gets caught out. Troll trap to start. The kinetic field to follow. And it ends with death. Yeah. General down for the count. He had the Hulk in position, but... September with the smoke pass through and finds the first blood. Already being level four in the off lane, very likely just continues to TP down there. And it's really hard for a witch doctor to stay in this lane. You don't have boots if you're art style playing that five position support. So he's very vulnerable to just getting solo killed by Batrider. They are making a move here on Maybe, but he's got a spirit type, but he's going to look to turn this one around. They got to be careful. Maybe ends up getting the first kill. He's going to turn on to Dendi now, who pops the fairy fire. He's missing a pill. That could be costly. Oh, barely ticks down. Dendi will get the kill, but while that was happening, once again, LGD locating General and bringing him down. So another two for one trade, again favoring LGD. A couple of decent spells to cancel out. No flame break le leveled yet from Zhao 8, but just means that this Witch Doctor actually has some solo, like, or like two hero kill potential. Like right now, Batrider is seeing this bottom lane, a good cast can lead into a kill with Death Ward with a plus one. Aggressive is going to isolate the Yara, who doesn't quite have mana for the shapeshift, does have stick charges, opts to pop the Howl instead. It looks like he wants to fight this one, and now he finds himself still holding onto the stick, trying to bait, shapeshift coming out, but is he going to go down in time? No, the cast! Art style turns it and swats him down, and then Yara comes back in, munches on Bambi. It will be venison for dinner. Shao goes for the TP out. That too is denied. Shuriken says no. Four LGD heroes wiped off the map. Well, there's a reason you go jungle when you're a hero like Lycan and you can get value out of his support ultimate. Artsal coming in with a great cast death ward. Doesn't look like they have any actually, so just purely here for the gank, but Navi applying pressure mid, perhaps trying to draw the rotation from the top lane, there's the Glyphs, attempted the static kill follow, but Dingy Ra, they cage the wolf, and they will lock him down, but as that was happening, Shelly also falls to Dendi with the double damage rune, so it's a one for one, a Batrider for a Lycan, but Navi with the DD are looking to make it a little bit more, they want this to be a sweeter take, and it will be the tower mid. Yeah, Dendi kind of veered off from the mid lane to go secure that kill. It was a track kill, so ultimately the one for one trade. When you get tracked for yours, probably a little bit better. Oh, you think it's one for one? Dendi says it might be one for three. And it, oh, and I'm why they're barely surviving. Popping the stick and hanging it on for dear life. And aggressive, now he wants to turn it back the other way. Well, perhaps it's not such a good trade anymore. The vacuum lasso from Shawi followed up after the Dendi killed aggressive. Suddenly a double, suddenly boots of travel and some gold in the piggy bank as well. Looked like Dendi was gonna get three and get out for free, but LGD, they salvaged it. The go time is now. Take T1 towers and then open up the map to take Roche. For LGD, it's try and prevent that from happening using exorcism. Well, they have exorcism, but they want to take a fight. Right here, right now. Director in front, looks for the lasso. He grabs Soneko and aggressive moves forward. He's got to be careful though. He's in quite deep. Gets roared, will be punished. Ends up going down and that's a track kill as well. Shall we? It's going to be next. Maybe gets off the exorcism. Looks to engage into Navi's spirit type. And also going back to Yara. Runs in deep. Dendio comes through. Three, maybe four. So slow, but they do finish him off. And now the cast begins to bounce. MMY, the team has collapsed. And he limps away, the lone survivor of a bloody takedown in the bottom lane. Then LGD going for these kind of less common items. The drums maybe not completely unheard of, but the mech enchanter is something a bit new. And they want to itemize purely around these 5v5 fights oh, that we can see. He gets the roar of the silence on Chali, but Static Storm is there looking for the turnaround. Aggressive charges in, gets off the two hour chains, but the Death Ward zones the back. LGD, afraid of the Aether Lens, Witch Doctor will retreat. Trying to limit casualties here now. With no Bat Rider, it's tough to fight, but they lost a second. It could be a third. They look for September, pops the mech. Maledict is affecting him. Thought about a Sonic Wave. Then you're going to hang on to it, but look for the tower instead. That's like to help negate the slide of fist damage on the Necrobooks, any bonus armor you can get. Drop the Necrobooks, pop a Howl, 
attack the tower and just try and try and, and basically what, what's going to happen is Ember's going to try and slide a fist, bring them down, like Jeff Puffer will walk up, we weaken them with a Crypt Swarm, and then slide a fist is there for the cleanup, but... Oh, aggressive Nico. going Ooh. deep here in the top lane, really wanted a piece of that in. sweet Sonico, but he will go down, not worth it whatsoever, giving away the Ember's life, even if he gets the Bounty Hunter, yeah. a big win for Na'Vi, and... Bat right and how he can just pull heroes deep into the base. Even a hero with an Aegis, if you get pulled into tier 4 towers, you may just die twice. Well, Navi also have a secret weapon, and that is going to be Dendi's BKB Hex Aegis. He can go aggressive. He does, in fact. He interrupts that very lasso show. able to get the first step out, but now Jay Ross popped his BKB. He'll tank right through it. Seth gets first back, and Navi turned back for the tower. Objective-based gaming. In their hometown, they take the tower. Do they get more? They have locked down Denny, cracking the Aegis, and Gagressi rejoins the fight. He had to buy back for this. If he goes down, could really get punished out Dendi. Unlike number two, dropping pretty fast. The Ghost stacking up the Spirit Slave. And there, can they get the kill? They can! LGD hold the base for now. Queen of Pain down for 70. No buyback available. And now a glimpse. Art Style next, trapped inside the kinetic field. He too will fall and on to General. LGD looking to route Nabi. They brought down three. It was a big buyback. It cost them two, uh, including the Ember Spirit from earlier. Now Roshan checking the respawn timer. Five minutes until he respawns. So it's going to be enough time for the buyback to cool down. Oh, have another life for aggressive, and LGD aren't going to wait for it. They smoke, and they head right now. They know Dendi's unlikely to be here. Art Style getting jumped. That they do get the roll off, it's on to Shaway, pulls Arxel up into the high ground, he drops the death lord, he's alive for now, Aggressive's gonna finish him off, will do so, but Dendi hunts forward, chasing on the Navy, trying to bring him down, Dio Ra's there in pursuit as well, now turning on Aggressive, the Hex already committed, Aggressive able to mantle back away, that prompts a buyback, Enchantress rejoining the fight, the teams will engage, and ends up being, or disengage I should say, a 3 for 1. ...of a purchase it's been, it's really paid off and kept them in the game. Still fencing about the Roshan pit. Navi unable to break LGD's spirits in their high ground just yet, but this roar could be the opening step. He already bought back once. This could be a tie back. He pops the heal, the Greaves as well, the Death Lord committed. Almost enough to get the kill, but the four staff saves his life. And he will survive. That's a Death Lord too. That's a big commitment. That's a Deyara potentially in trouble now. Dendi looking for the opening. Maybe he can go in aggressive here if he's not careful. He jumped on the maybe, but the Death Prophet will already go in. Throws the Yules out. Deyara fairly low. BKB gonna end soon. Then they turn it. Damage from aggressive. Just chewing into Navi. Driving them back. The impulse brings up Dendi. 10 HP. TP's out for the high ground. Will survive, but three Navi heroes have Aggressive fallen. survives two somehow in about 50 HP. Oh my. They just clumped up for aggressive got the crits got the cleave at the right time and the damage was spectacular it's just uh, such discipline here from lgd oh hold that thought navi smoking moving down into the river they just got dewarded lgd but they sent their whole team to do it september the one in front and they are going to engage here going in aggressive slight of fist quickly pretty general low already committed the war and now the death lord starts a bouncing it's a full duration death lord lgd getting forced back shadow it's going to drop that's two it's three aggressive down and they want more they want more yeah they're going to get him four heroes hit the deck now b grab the gem the bounty the momentum and straight into the pit it appears they will go. Just, just like that. Every now and then, you just say, okay, we've been, we've been slow rolling this for too long. Let's take the initiative. Let's go. Taking a lane of Rax gets easier now. The mid lane's always pushing. Creeps will be up the hill. You have better vision into the base. The Hawk's able to sneak around the tree line, something they can't really do so easily mid. And LGD uh, do have a gem here on Shally, but they gotta sit back if the engagement begins. Oh, nice silence of General, general. Present, preventing any sort of role play. He didn't even get to use it the first one, let alone the second. And aggressive surges forward, but that's gonna be it. The quick draw there from them white. Oh, they are chasing for a bit more. They get the courier, a single ward on it. Arkstein out this stack. So there's the hex. On to aggressive. Gotta be careful. Grapple gets popped. Another side of this too. Trying to hold on for now. Jumps back. Lotus Orbo's deployed. And it's maybe in the front lines. Chewing through Arkstein. The Howard one is down. Can they get more? That's the question. So they go trying to escape through the trees. Won't happen. LGD. Take down three, but mid lane is pushing. That's it. They may need to send aggressive. LGD's lineup is so punishing of mistakes. That's the biggest thing to kind of take away from that for Navi. 
There's been a real shift with players' willingness to pick this item up, and I think a lot of it is just due to the the proliferation of Ember Spirit picks more than anything. It used to be Gyrocopter, but the, the heroes that can really take advantage of the Ravier. Immediately smoke up too. Here we go. Sineko out in front. He's going to reveal the smoke. And Shelly makes his move. He goes for the last one, but he does get Hex. Then Roid as well. That means Lotus Orb onto the picture. Can they focus down the cores through this fight? On the back lights is aggressive. He's going to piss him. The are going up. They located the Ember. Rapier down. Navi have slain the Fire Spirit. Maybe could be next. He's also going to fall with the Ember buyback. Aggressive marches out to the pit. It may be too late. Do they know about the rapier? I don't know the if they sword, The sword and the stones. Navi don't care about it, I guess. Navi smoking, moving towards the bottom lane. 58 minutes in. They have struggled mightily to fully break through the LGD defense. The one slip up from the young gun aggressive, and that could be all she wrote as Deyara starts moving in, one swipe, the tower's down, and now Deyara morphing, coming in hot and heavy on the maybe, up into the air he goes, Sep will be the victim, now the Ghost Scepter, or rather the theory play, maybe, backing off, Embers back to the well, but Brax are melting, Navi chewing through them, Xiaowe with the flick forward, but Deyara turns, and in a matter of seconds, he turns down, aggressive next, next stop, no escape, looks like he's down as well, that's gonna be every core hero, deleted, and with that, Navi take game one. The magic is back. LGE, they held on for a long, long time, but ultimately Navi, the ones in the driver's seat, the one with the map control, the vision from all the different summons, the wolves, the hawk, they prevail. Complete utter rush control and aggressive, he couldn't do it all. Navi take game one, LD.